Hi, Vida Day 21. So just a little update on my tooth situation. I'm relatively pain free now. I've been taking antibiotics and it's cleared up the infection. So that's good news. Um, obviously I still have to go back for a root canal, but I'm feeling much better now and I can actually eat, so that's good. So TV shows. I never used to watch a lot of TV shows. I don't think I ever really had the time although now is a different matter completely. I am quite addicted to a lot of shows. I guess when I was growing up, I was never allowed to watch too much TV. I didn't have a TV in my room until I was 21. Obviously, I watched a few things, but I was more into watching films and stuff on the Disney Channel. There were some really good kids' programs on when I was growing up, Sesame Street being one of them. My mum tells me that I learnt the alphabet from watching Sesame Street. How amazing is that? So a huge TV show in the 90s was Friends. I remember watching this with my parents sometimes, but I never got too obsessed with it. I'm pretty sure I haven't even seen all the episodes that there are. Don't get me wrong, I really liked it, but at the time I just wasn't into watching TV too much. Since then I have watched reruns when it was on E4 and Channel 4 and things like that. I remember people at school used to be obsessed with Friends and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but I just never got into it. There's a few British soap operas which I cannot stand, EastEnders and Coronation Street. However, my parents have always watched Emmerdale and sometimes I find myself watching that. Usually I start watching it just before Christmas when they get an exciting plot coming up and then I stop kind of after that and get bored of it. My mum watches a lot of crime thrillery detective programs and while I'm generally not into them, I did like Jonathan Creek when it was on. I really like the comedy sort of news quiz programs. I love Nevermind the Buzzcocks. I just think it's really quirky and fun. I don't often watch celebrity or reality TV shows, but I do watch Dancing on Ice every year, and most years I watch Britain's Got Talent. I used to love Skins and The Inbetweeners. Another very big British programme, which I didn't start watching until last year, is Doctor Who. I don't know why, but I'm not a huge fan of the science fiction genre, and it just never really appealed to me. But since everybody in the world was watching it, I figured I'd give it a go, and I actually quite like it now. I've only really watched the recent episodes with Matt Smith, so I haven't seen any previous episodes with David Tennant or anyone in it. But yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. So, Grey's Anatomy. I started watching this at university when one of my friends introduced me to it, and I kind of got addicted to it. I'd never seen any kind of medical program before that, mostly because my mum hates watching them and so we were never allowed to have them on in the house. But I don't actually get too squeamish during them and I just really like the characters and the storylines in Grey's Anatomy. Even though it's been going for a very long time, they still do have some interesting storylines. And Glee. I remember when Glee was advertised on TV, I didn't think it would be something that I would like. I remember thinking that it looked quite a lot like High School Musical and I really didn't like High School Musical so I thought I'm not going to like Glee but I gave it a go and I liked it. I think Glee is definitely one of those things like Marmite, you either love it or hate it and I love it. I like the fact that they do sort of all kinds of different songs on it so you do get a lot of popular songs but you get like musical theatre songs as well so it's just a good kind of mix of everything. I also went to the Glee live tour in 2011 which was pretty good but expensive. American Horror Story is another program that I enjoy. I watched both seasons of it and I'm excited for the third season now. It is quite gory and graphic so if you don't like that kind of thing then I don't recommend it but I thought it was really interesting and quite different from anything else. I love the Big Bang Theory. I absolutely love Sheldon. And I used to know someone who reminds me a lot of Sheldon. So it just makes me laugh. But possibly my number one favourite TV show of all time at the moment is Pretty Little Liars. I'm not even ashamed to admit this. If you've never heard of Pretty Little Liars, then go and check it out. It's amazing. It's probably not everyone's cup of tea. It's a bit of a teenagery kind of programme, but it's basically about four girls and their friend goes missing and then a year later they find her body and then her friends start receiving texts from this mysterious person called A. Anyway, to cut a long story short, three seasons down the line we still don't know who killed her. 
But yes, Pretty Little Liars is one of my guilty pleasures at the moment. And I can't wait until June when the new season starts. So yeah, I, I watch a lot more TV now than I used to. There are some shows that I've tried to watch and never got into, but I'm always looking for new things to watch. So if anyone has any good programs to recommend to me, then I might try and watch them. Because sometimes watching YouTube videos just isn't enough. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 22. I love the bing bang. <laughs> the bing bang? What? Bing bang. No. Are we on the third season or fourth season?